Hi, my name is Rex Hausman. I'm here at Hausman Millworks, 925 West Russell, our lovely plants. And uh, I'm about to take you through the show Ithaca, which is a small preview. But uh, come on in. You can see my green Bronco here. I'm always here. Uh, and if it's not there, they're not here. But come on in this way, and we're going to bring you into the mill. These are some of my dad's old saw blades here. And uh, from the mill, this is John Carlos's show, but that's not what we're looking at, although it's wonderful. Today what we're looking at is the show Ithaca, uh, which is based on the poem by Constantine Cavafy, Ithaca. Um, I've been working on this series for about six months now, and it deals with San Antonio, uh, me leaving, going back and forth between New York and San Antonio, and I've been taking my, my memories into my studio and creating these works. Uh, this is the second pain that came out of the series, but we'll, we'll start at the first, and then we'll go into the crocheted works, and we'll go into works like this and everything. So as you come over here, this was one of the preliminary drawings. Uh, you've got this little painting, it's 24 inches by 36 inches, named Ithaca Cavafy. And you'll start to notice that everything is misspelled. Well, that's just the way that I spell. Um, it's all phonetic. Thank you, Eddie. Uh, and what I've done is I've taken off all the editing um, processes that I usually go through for uh, my paintings or my images. So the first one was Ithaca. It's based on a place called um, Almost Pharmacy, which you'll see in some of these pictures here. And uh, these are kind of my digital sketches. I do these renderings here. If you look here, this is Almost Pharmacy right here. Uh, me and my grandpa and my brother and my dad used to go there all the time. You know, it's the Buttercrust Bakery and Cool Crest, but as we walk this way, we go to the second painting in the series, which is called Hope It Lasts an Amazingly Long Time. And it's the second sentence in the poem. Just changed a little bit. And I also crocheted the Florentine Dome while I was in Houston with my brother. And uh, that was exciting. And a little tank. The third painting ended up being a painting back over here uh, with me and my brother um, right here, which is called Keep Ithaca Always in Your Mind, which is, I believe, the fourth line in the poem. And that's me and my brother, and we've got the little tank in the center of us, and then the four cupcakes. If you're familiar with the cupcakes, I've been crocheting cupcakes for about two, three years now. Uh, the, the fourth painting was this little painting right here based on a place called Cool Crest, which was a mini putt-putt when I was a kid, and it's no longer in business. Um, the fifth painting came about uh, as my grandfather. This is a large painting, the largest painting in the series, and it was based on Malibu Grand Prix, Dale Wise Guns, which is a gun shop. My grandfather was a big hunter. These were the two uh, thrush muffler ducks that were on his toolbox. And then if you look here, his name was Rod, and I took the genuine Ford V8 logo and changed it. Um, another painting that I did was my grandfather loved licorice. So the line in the painting is actually here, rich with all you have gained along the way. But it changed to rich with memories. And if you notice, this little guy, this was, I believe, one of the, the licorices that he ate and really enjoyed. And then this is his old 53 Chevy, which was actually one of my first paintings. And as we walk over here, we're going to a painting that I just finished, which is based on, if, if you're from San Antonio or really from South Texas, you know what Bill Miller's is, which is a, uh, a barbecue, a fast food barbecue company. Bill Miller's Barbecue, we all know and love it. The tea is the nectar of the gods, basically. And I'm starting to crochet a tea koozie to go with the painting. So usually you get a piece of pie with your sugar-filled sweet tea, and uh, you have a diabetic's dream. So anyway, um, that is part of the show Ithaca, which we'll be showing at the Institute of Texan Cultures in 2011. I hope you've liked the little preview. It'll just show you a bit about the paintings, the scale, the size, and all the different types of things that are going to the show. It's going to be a blast. It's 2011 as part of the Texas uh, Contemporary Artist Series with the Institute of Texan Cultures. And we'll also be traveling to New York to Symphony Space for a short stint in the fall of 2010. So thanks for previewing and hope you've enjoyed.